Hello and welcome! It is finals time! The Gauntlet of Greatness is coming to its end. This season we've been playing Pauper. Here's the whole bracket. Started out with 12 Pauper decks. Uh, Alex Ullman was nice enough to hook us up with deck lists for all of these. The audience voted on what should get the buys. Delver was kind of the favorite in the pre-Eternal uh, Masters Popper metagame. Uh, the Drake combo deck has really been what's crushing it on Magic Online in recent weeks. They actually ran into each other pretty early. It was Delver that won that matchup and has cruised into the finals. But this Elves deck has been on quite a tear in uh, Gauntlet of Greatness as well. It won the No-Bandless Modern Season. Now maybe it's going to win a Popper Season too. We will... Uh, We'll see how that plays out. I'm not convinced we had the best Drake uh, list, because we we put our list together before Eternal Masters had even released on Magic Online. It's like the spoilers were out, so we knew what the changes were, but we wanted to get started, so we just started. I don't know. Maybe maybe Drake got a raw deal. Maybe it's more fun this way. Maybe, why not both? <laughs> But we wind up with this final. We are going to play best three out of five between the Delver deck and the Elf deck. Uh, here you get a look at Delver. It's got this guy, Delver Secrets. Clearly, I think at this point, the best one mana creature of all time. I I'm not even sure there can be much debate over that. Card is just really good. And you get four Ponders. You get four Preordains. You get to play with Counter Spells and a couple of Dazes. You get some Gushes. Ninja the Deep Hours is pretty exciting, especially when you've got more one drops like Fairy Miscreant that gives you an extra card, potentially Spell Stutter Sprite, which counters a spell potentially. I mean, basically, look, this is, this is aggro control, right? Play out some beaters and then uh, just stop the opponent from implementing their game plan. Spire Glalom blocks pretty well and eventually becomes very cheap in this deck since the mana base is just, what is it, 17 islands. Uh, Bone Splitter helps out. This has just been the best deck in Pauper when there's not a broken combo deck. Like if people aren't just flickering their, uh, their walls and taking advantage of untapped mechanic combo shenanigans, Delver seems like it has been the best. But you know what else is really good? This elf deck is really friggin' good. Um, you get the Birchlore Rangers combo with Metal Sentinel. So every time you play a green spell, you can kind of untap your Metal Sentinels and make more mana. Um, I mean, you get Fintorn and Llanowar, of course. You get Quiron Ranger to actually untap stuff, which is kind of exciting. And then it's not like you have a combo, I'm going to win the game on the spot finish, right? You can't Crater Hoof somebody, but whatever. If you're gaining, like, 15 life a turn, you know, you're spitting out Elves with Lissalana to go wide, you're going tall with... The big new addition in the deck is actually Elvish Vanguard, which I think is quite powerful. Giving the ability, to, giving the deck the ability to just grow one giant creature is pretty nice. And uh, Timberwatch Elf is also totally capable of just winning the game. One tap, one creature gets like a plus 15, plus 15 or so. Um, card drawing is a little hard to come by. Can't play Skull Clamp because it's uncommon and would be banned if it was common. Uh, can't play uh, Glimpse of Nature, so a little bit of a blue splash for Distant Melody. Pretty much the only thing that keeps this elf deck in check in Pauper is the fact that everyone knows about it, and everyone with any access to red or black mana will have the ability to sweep away a bunch of one toughness creatures. Some sort of, you know, tremor effect, whether it's an electricery or, you know, a minus one, minus one effect out of black. In fact, that's such a big deal to this deck that it sideboard spider silk armor just against enemy sideboard cards. I, I gotta say though, Shadow, your Delver deck. Your Delver deck doesn't have any of these sweepers in the sideboard. Uh, who needs sweepers? You've, you've got ser two copies of Serrated Arrows does not strike me as enough. I'm not going to... No, I, I would agree. They, they are not enough. I'm going to beat you by flying over your head and countering any of your big spells. Right. Like every yeah. single copy of Spider Silk Armor. <laughs> oh God, do I bring in Spider Silk Armor to block against you? That's I, what do I do? Like, if you have a bunch of 1-3 Elves, I'm just going to be like, oh, well, that was good. <laughs> Funny. I hadn't thought about. I hadn't really thought about sideboarding because you don't really have the sweepers. But we will see. All right. Let me set a matchup. I'm playing the elf side. All right. We'll play. We'll play a best two out of three match on Magic Online with sideboarding, and then when that's over, we'll play another one. So we'll wind up with two unsideboarded games, uh, which I think is the right way to do best three out of five. Anyway, in fact, it's the way the Pro Tour does it now. Um, Sixty minute clocks, just so we don't have to worry about it, and. I am in getting serious. Come fight me. 
Let's do this finals thing. Yeah, as soon as I find my deck, I'm going to come fight you. What am I looking for? Uh, vintage Legacy Popper. There you go. Delver 4. Don't ask. All right, so. <laughs> Mine's called Delver 2. I understand. <laughs> All right, good luck. I will see you on the other side. All right, I'll meet you on Skype. We can chat more after the match. And we're off. Lost the die roll. This should be fine. It's not spectacular. I mean, I'm kind of, I'm growing a, a Vanguard. I have a little bit more mana and not a lot to do with it, but I don't think I can mulligan. Like, it's a sweet curve. Land of War. On the first turn, oh, sick. Yeah, fair. I think I would normally be pretty disappointed in that, and it, with this draw, it's actually totally fine. He's revealed a counter spell. If he has the second days, wow, so Delver's a 3-2. Fair enough. I'm going to play Elvish Vanguard, and if he has the second days, I'm going to be really, 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 really sad. Do not have the second day. All right, he doesn't have the second day. He may be able to race. Wait. I was supposed to play Vanguard there. I misclicked clicked on the wrong creature. I even said I was going to play the Vanguard. This isn't too bad, though. Like, I get more mana this way. And this, may have, I, this may have actually been a better play. Oh, the problem is the counterspell. Right, right, right. Right. So I have two Vanguards. I'm guessing he's going to counterspell the first one, which is fair. And then we get the second one. Yeah, I like this line better than my first line anyway. This is a tricky race, though. I need him to not flip Delver. Doesn't flip it. Yeah, I think I take four. It's me at nine, but like I, I can't trade those. There's no way I can trade those. What's he up to? Oh, he's gushing. Okay, so he's got cards, but he's only gonna have one man on my turn again. <laughs> he's gonna delver number three. And he's gonna wow. Oh boy. If he's able what is he scrying? Come on, bottom, bottom, please. Put a card on the bottom, put a card on the bottom. All right. Oh, in the plunder. If he flips these two Delvers, I'm just dead next turn. Three Delvers and a Ponder to set them up. Shuffle. Come on, shuffle. Shuffle. Card on top, card on top. Chooses to shuffle. We're still alive. Hilarious. All of that. He has to choose to shuffle. All right. So we have to kill him really, really quickly and hope he misses next turn. Um, how do I want to do this? I've got a ton of mana if I resolve Greeron Ranger. He's only days that can stop me. I'm not even going to need these to clear on Ranger am I? I just get to play everything. It's 
So, I mean, I could have played the the Sentinel last turn and then, then tapped Priest for two for Vanguard, but I kind of wanted the plus one plus one counter on Vanguard. I don't know, it's weird. I'd be attacking with a 2-2 two -two here, and I guess I would have had a blocker for Delver. I wasn't thinking about the fact that I could block a groundbound Delver. It's possible I wanted the Sentinel last turn, so that but uh, Yeah, I probably was after too many plus and plus counters. Whatever. Isn't going to matter if... So I kill him really, really quickly. Yeah, I mean, I'm out of cards. We're just here. I would be at 10 if I blocked the groundbound Delver. Is probably the reason I should have played the free sentinel. Don't flip! Miss! It's not like I kill him next turn anyway, do I? No. Wow, he keeps missing. 10. I have 11 power. Which is not good enough. Now he's got Counterspell Mana again. It's a good card. It's a very good card. Huh? So if it resolves... Doesn't look like it's gonna resolve. Yeah. Fair enough. All right, I get to attack him. So I need, what do I need? I need to be able to block. Queer on Ranger makes a surprise blocker. I attack with literally everyone. If I attack with literally everyone, then I die to Bone Splitter. I think I should not attack with one creature. So they have the ability to block on the ground. I mean, if he flips the Delvers, I'm just dead. And look, the truth is by rights, he should be flipping Delvers by now. He preordained, and he pondered, and he top decked. So he's had six shots to flip those two Delvers and kill me. And it's failed. Oh, yeah, flipping one Delver is now good enough. Tough but fair. All right. Does he flip? Wow. Ball game. Yeah, my other line, he wouldn't have jumped here. He would have played to flip the Delvers and would have killed me anyway, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, can't block three power flyers. They hit pretty hard and pretty fast. Oh, well. Crazy. Three Delvers he draws. Who does that? Maybe I do need spider silk armor. Does anything else on my sideboard do anything? Oh, this guy. Delver's a 3-2, so it's not actually that good. I mean, it kills his other. It kills like spell stutter sprite. Doesn't sound that exciting. I think I actually just want to. If I can block, I mean, not a ton of spider silk armors, but a couple of spider silk armors actually sounds okay here. Also, the life gain would have outpaced him. If I could have resolved the life gain, dude, even an essence warden would have been enough to swing that race. I think. Am I taking out for spider silk armors? Is this card good against him? So expensive. Doesn't seem right. Yeah, I feel like I want two copies of spider silk armor so that I can potentially block but what would I take out? Also, that's only good against his aggro draw. Like, if he lets... If I don't have anything exciting going on and he plays one of these, it doesn't do anything. Is that even good? What am I taking it out for? 
shaving Alyssa Huntmaster, maybe? Because four drops can get counterspelled? Is Scattershot Archers literally only for this matchup? I mean, there's there's matchups where people bring in a bunch of one touch creatures. I guess the Scattershot Archers are solid. maybe? Alright, we'll try this. Now I'm keeping. I have to play Llanowar so that I can get to Priest. Yeah. Makes some mana. All right. If he doesn't have days, I mean, I, I really want to resolve Priest of Titania. I guess I want to lead with Creeron Ranger. Right. I can even pay for days. It lets me pick up the force. Yeah. Okay. I'm leading with Creeron Ranger. And then I'm gonna untap Lanowar and pick up a forest. Yeah, it's got to be a priest. I mean, part of me wants to get the vanguard down. I could go vanguard into birch lore into sentinel. Maybe that's enough mana that I don't need priest? Maybe it is. Right, I go vanguard, then I tap lanowar for birch lore, then I tap two of those for Sentinel. Seems pretty good. Yeah, let's start going a Vanguard. This can get dazed, but it doesn't. <laughs> Sentinel or Scattershot? It's got to be Sentinel, right? I mean, Scattershot Loose Summoning Sickness has some value. Uh, oh, I can kill a 3-2 Delver with Queeron Ranger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Scattershot. Awesome. Queeron Ranger, Scattershot. Now I see why this guy's in the sideboard. This makes way more sense. Awesome. keeping him on the ground so I can't kill him with scattershot funny man do I just trade do I just take I think I just take three like I'm winning this race yeah whatever I'm crushing it I'm crushing him in this race keeping my scattershot for after it flips it's a good one all right. Uh, I should do Nettle Sentinel first. Yeah. That way I can start making green mana. And draw a 
let's make it green. With those. Uh, I guess I want to attack with these guys, so I'll go ahead and use Core Hunter in here. I just want mana. Sure! Attacking. Attacking seems like fun. Take nine? Sure, take nine. GL. <laughs> Snap! It's annoying. Yeah, I mean, I could have left Scattershot untapped in case he flips. Um, and it would stop me from taking five here, but I'm just, I'm a million miles ahead in this race. Like, there's no way he's going to kill me with a Delver. And I figured the one point of damage to him might actually matter. So I'm very close to killing him next turn. I mean, I think Snap stops me from killing him because he's going to get my Vanguard. I can hit him for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can only hit him for eight after he snaps my Vanguard. But I don't regret my decision. Eh, I took five. But I just don't think 12 versus 17 actually matters. So he shuffled off the ponder. Right, he's going to go ahead and snap main phase. Fair enough. This is a mono blue delver list we're playing against. Yeah, these gushes and ponders don't seem like they're going to beat my board. <laughs> Neat. Uh, just tap priest for a million. No idea why I bother tapping my forest. I should have been attacking with priest. Whatever. Uh. So do I go ahead and scatter shot here? Probably want life from the well wisher. Since I can't kill him. This is one, two, three, four. Yeah, it just is what it is. Scatter shot, clear on scatter shot. Yeah, I'll sit him for four. Oh, I need to do that on my turn. Okay, I let him get snap on. It's not going to matter, but it was a mistake. My bad. I was trying to figure out what, why I would need to do it on my turn. I actually get two plus one plus one counters out of it, so it's not actually that bad, and I the well-wisher. Um, 
I just imagine he might have gone like fishing with fairy miscreants or something. I'd get to kill an extra creature by waiting. Yeah, whatever. Gain a bunch of life, attack him for lethal. He managed to not have Delver killed by the archer. Grats. It feels like that's how that's going to play out, right? He's just got... If I can kill his flyers, he's hosed. He doesn't have enough counter spells to stop me from going wide. Does that mean I want an extra spider silk? Hmm... I don't, I don't feel like I consistently have the mana for Longbow to actually do good things. I mean, I recognize I can move it and untap creatures and things, but I just don't love it here. I mean, I, I guess, I mean, it's Quiron Ranger that's supposed to make me excited by it, because now it kills Flip's Delvers. Timberwatch is just not where this is at, right? Because if I'm in a race, I'd rather just kill his flyer, and then I have infinity time. All right, we'll try one longbow. Uh, I don't like it. That version of the deck looked fine. All right, game three. It is best three out of five. I guess it's best two out of three now. This one will be sideboarded. The next one will be unsideboarded, and then we'll be sideboarded for the last one. That hand doesn't make mana. Wow. So I'm on the draw, and I can't make mana. I have two copies of Distant Melody, and I'm not even close. If I got to two mana, I could Sylvan Ranger. I don't think I can keep this. Oh, I can cast a 2-drop by having the Crown Ranger untap itself. So I do actually have 2 mana. Right, so I can replay the forest on turn 2, play Sylvan Ranger. Or Vanguard. I kind of like this melody. Wow. It's close. I mean, it functions. It has a payoff card. It has several payoff cards. And 4 elves. I think I'm keeping... He's down to six, maybe more. It's, yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's definitely a card advantage aspect to this matchup. Does it change anything? Do I still lead with Ranger? Lead with Sentinel because it hits harder? Sentinel because it hits harder. Oh, the ninja. Stupid ninja. Yeah, yeah, get your card back. So I have two total mana here. Interesting. Could be Vanguard. I don't think it's Sylvan Ranger. Could be Lanawar and Quiron. I think I'm supposed to play the Vanguard. Oh, this daze is going to be painful. God, he's only running two of them! Damn it! Okay, that's bad. I think I trade here. I 
His tutu is just a lot better than mine, even if I like creature type elf. Ah! I couldn't play Ranger in Land of War last turn because I had already used my land drop. By saving Ranger for this turn, where I can go Ranger into another thing. Um. Oh, it means I have to get an island, though. That's annoying. I need to get an island with Sylvan Ranger because that's how I'm casting these distant melodies. So this turn is going to be one drops. And then I get the island next turn. Wait, what's going on? Oh, still, so I meant to quit Crown Ranger. That's what's going on. Right. Not the most explosive draws for either of us. Mine's still functional. I mean, I draw, my draw is actively good if I'm attacking with a 4-4 Vanguard right now. And continuing to grow it. The days was quite nice for him. Oh, Coral Net. Interesting. Chant green or white creature. It ha that creature has, at the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice this creature unless you discard a card. Interesting. That is interesting. All right. If I hold on to my Lanor Elves, then I have one, two, three, untap, Lanor with Quiron is four, land drop for the turn is five mana. I do not have the ability to Sylvan Ranger for blue mana and cast Distant Melody, I believe. Right? And I cast Sylvan Ranger. I've Land of War Elf twice, and my land drop for the turn is only three. So if I can't Distant Melody this turn anyway, then I'm not certainly not discarding a card to keep Land of War around. Discard a card? No. <laughs> wow. I don't particularly want to get days. It's the only thing I'm worried about here. The last days would be even more annoying. Sad. Now we have a handful of blue spells and no blue mana. Also don't have four anyway. Wow. It's really bad. We need a virtual arranger. Really badly. I can't imagine we're just going to race two for one for the rest of the game, right? Well, I guess it's three for one now. Ugh. That's really good. Hmm. It's a weird little game. All right, now his snowball's going to start, isn't it? 
Miscreant as a cantrip. Oh, that's a good card. I mean, it's not going to get better for me. I just have to cross my fingers and hope this works. <laughs> oh, snap the spell stutter. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to work. I don't know. It is entirely possible I was supposed to mulligan this draw. You want to trade? I'll trade. I didn't think so. Hmm. Damn. Please? Yeah, didn't think so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously, sitting on these the whole game, they would have mattered. We played 10 turns. I'm just sitting here with two cards from my opening draw that I never got to deploy. It's crazy. Like, we got there on mana, but not on blue mana. Interesting. All right. Delver up two games to one. <laughs> way, way distant melodies. Funny. <laughs> Gotta win two straight. We can do it. Hey, Randy. Am I supposed to let you go first? I forget the rule. Um, like, how have we been doing it? Because I don't remember. Yeah, I guess I'm supposed to get to go first here. Okay, good enough. I mean, I'm going to keep it, right? It's, it's a billion mana, it's four elves, and a distant melody. Like, I just, I have, the deck has to give me something. Has to give me access to blue mana or something that takes advantage of having all these elves. Yeah, I mean, it's a keeper. It's not great. It's probably better than the last one. All the play means he can't stop this priest either. I tr oh, do I offer a trade here? No, I don't offer a trade. Trust to the top of your deck. Come on, blue mana. Although that's Counterspell over there. Spell Stutter doesn't get the job done, but Counterspell does. Nice. We offer this test spell. So that we can clear a path for this one. And you know what? Am I willing to trade Findhorns for spell setters? I guess I'm just not. Not while I have Well Wisher. Alright. Fair. 
Come on, Dak. You really gonna do me this way? The real not like this moment. Two distant melodies on the in my opener for each of the last two losses. I don't think I'm winning this without resolving a distant melody. I mean, well wishers great and all. Do I have to race here? I feel like I kind of might. question is, do I offer up Priest? I'm pretty sure I have to attack with Finthorns here. I don't know if I have to attack with, if I should let him trade for Priest. If I let him trade for Priest, I'm down to, like, four mana, plus I queer on Ranger, so it's really six. So I can still, yeah, he can have the Priest if he really wants it. I have to just, race has to be an option here. Hmm. That is a giant roadblock. So if I pick up a forest to gain four life, then next turn I have one, two, three, four. I only have five mana. I'm not going to do it. Can't attack into a two, four. I need blue mana. That's just what I need to draw. Ninja picking up the miscreant while well, he has another miscreant in play. Ah, it's an unsideboarded game too. So I don't have any answers to random flyers in my deck right now. We're just sad. I mean, what was you going to buy me a lot of time? I'm not going to enjoy double blocking this ninja, but I kind of have to, don't I? Yeah, I think I have to double block ninja. Try to trade. God, he's going to snap one of my creatures. It's going to be so sad. I'm going to triple block. So it'll take two snaps to beat me. Get a grip full of seven. Do not feel good about my chances. But we'll fight the good fight. I wonder if I can deck him with Wellwisher. The thing. Yeah, I'm not willing to let him ninja every turn to find out. I'm gonna, if I'm going to deck him, it's going to be 44 turns, not attempting to do it in 22. Still can't attack in the Spire Golem. I mean, there's more Spire Golems coming? I mean, there's more Ninjas coming.
and more spire golems. And oh, look at that, two blue mana. What could you possibly be sitting on? I think I have to assume my deck is going to deliver and just feed things into potential counter spells to try to clear a path for future things. Like, I have to hope I can run him out of stuff. I don't know. I mean, it, I could be trying to save two threats for the same turn, but I don't have two threats. I feel like I kind of have to top deck my way out of this, so. Ugh. So many cards and so many flyers. Ah. It's a pretty painful ninja to double block now. Like, I'm down to four creatures. <laughs> he is turning a profit at six. God, I have to let the ninja hit me, don't I? Yeah, I think I do. I don't think I can afford to lose two more creatures. not going to work. I guess I'm pretty much... <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty much all in on the Deccan plan, which does take a little bit of the sting out of the ninja, but yeah, this... this is a problem. How much? Seven? Sure. Have a card. He's sitting on two counters now. I think he try to wait for a second threat. We'll give him a test spell. <laughs> what do I have? Nine sources of blue mana in my deck, but eight of them can be counterspelled. Oh wow, he's going to not even bother to equip Blue and Splinter because he wants 4 mana untapped, because he wants to counterspell twice. Hard to argue with him. Man. Yeah, I'm not playing Well Wisher into 7 cards and multiple counterspells being represented. Need a second threat. Really need a third thread is what I need. But figure 
blue mana let, means I have a threat next turn. Whatever. I mean, I'm grasping at straws, obviously. Well, that's blue mana. Maybe he'll forget how good it is. Hooray! Didn't have to let him know I had a blue spell coming, but I just wanted to make sure I knew how to tap my mana. I mean, he's 99.9% .9 to have multiple counter spells, so I wasn't actually worried about it. three threats on that turn. It felt like a decent turn, but but whatever. We've slogged through a counter spell. We've slogged through a bunch of spell center sprites. We have like a turn probably. I mean that's not twenty four, I don't think. But it's yeah. It was eighteen. Alright. Last turn of the gauntlet. There's more Spire Golems on defense. He's still got five cards in his hand. We're letting stupid Ninja of the Deep Hours hit us. Can I have a Distant Melody? Can I have four cards, please, sir? Mr. Permission Deck? Yeah, I didn't think so. Good games. Good games. Good games. You are the winner. The I... winner! It's about time Delver did something useful. Delver's been around. He hasn't actually won one of these. It finally won one, yeah. Yeah, I had Distant Melody. I had two copies of Distant Melody in my opening hand that game. And didn't draw the blue mana until you finally let that Virtual Arranger resolve on the next to last turn. I had two copies of Distant Melody in my hand in the previous game. Never drew the blue mana the entire game because you counterspelled Sylvan Ranger. I, I assume that that's what you had in your hand. Well, right? by then I had three copies of this. <laughs> Awkward. Yeah. Yeah, no, the melodies were a lot more vulnerable versus you than I was expecting. Yeah, I, my deck is like eight green, cr green creatures that can get me blue mana and one island. That's my blue sources for the one spell, four copies of one spell. Of that yeah, spell, that was which definitely is really what good. I did me this last couple. I mean, both my draws were kind of mediocre-ish. Maybe I could have mulliganed them. I don't know. But yeah, your deck was a lot better in that matchup than I was expecting. I yeah, didn't have Scattershot I... Archer tech in from the sideboard, which, I mean, showed up in the game I won. I won that game on, like, four different axes. <laughs> you did. You did, but not by killing my guy. I stopped nope, that. No, nope, no, nope. Yeah, <laughs> I, I probably should kill him on my turn. For um, snap, but, but, yeah, like, finding Snap and then my uh, fairy, I was like, oh, this is going to be good for a counterspell. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, all right, that'll do it for the Popper Gauntlet of Greatness. There's the bracket. Delver is victorious. Probably not a big surprise. Probably was the number one seed coming in. Uh, you know, Delver versus Drake. Maybe a better Drake list could have knocked it off. But Delver, I don't know that it ever played a deck it was supposed to lose to. Good times. Good times. I, I thought you had me that game. I'm like, you're at 50 life. What am I supposed to do? 
It's like, oh, I guess just draw a bunch of cards. I guess that'll do it. No, I, I at no point did I thought I had that game one. Okay. At no point, I was just like this. I mean, yeah, this is a lot of life, but like, this isn't going to be good enough. It's true. You have no way of actually stopping flyers unboarded. Is that true? Right. Pre sideboarding, I'm just cold. Yeah. And my two four guys are just huge. Yeah, fire goblins. Huge really giants. Keep that match for sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, good game. It good feels game. good to be on this side, finally, of a deck that I've picked. Because <laughs> I only picked Delver, so it's good to see <laughs> it, it made its way through.